So, in this video, I am going to be, as you can tell, my car, it came with a large badge that came up around this whole circular area, and it just looked terrible, I think, but that's just me. And so, today, I am going to be, this bumper is only primed. I'm going to be using Bondo body filler to fill in this whole area, and I'm going to trim the edge of this grill down so it's nice and flush and like this was never even there so this will be the only area left and you can get a cap but I'm not too worried about that I just want to get rid of this big gap on the bottom <coughs> <coughs> so uh, yeah what I got to do is I have to take off I think it's like 10 t25 screws all around holding my bumper on and my aftermarket license plate holder which is just a few little Allen wrench screws here and there and it'll pop right off and um, yeah Let's get to it. flying the bondo but this is everything that you will need to bondo you got to get the bondo it comes with a um, quick dry mix that you mix in with the bondo and then I got some black primer paint just to match up with the rest of it because I am gonna be having my bumper paint match to the rest of my car and then I got one of these this will help with moving the bondo smoothly across and uh, yeah so that's what I got yeah apply some to your surface that you're gonna mix on probably a decent amount and just get it on there nice and good and then you're gonna want to apply some of the cream hardener is what it is this stuff so just it's like a three to one ratio I think so I figure that should be good. This is my first time actually doing any sort of um, bondoing or body work like this, but I mean, if all the car dudes make it look easy as hell, I feel like I can pull it off. So that's what we're rolling with. YouTube knowledge, baby. And I've done my fair share of research on YouTube, so. I actually have to hit this with more than one layer because my area that I'm bondoing is a rather large area, so I'm gonna fill in flush with this top piece all the way across, and then I'm gonna try and get this edge right, but I'll have to use sandpaper and see what I can make happen there. I'm gonna do a second coat of the same process as from before, pretty much, just, you know, lay it on there, mix it up, and uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes.
Oh yeah, ten times better. Well guys, that's gonna end this video. As you can see, my Bondo job is complete. I trimmed my grill a little. I think it looks a little better. My bumper's gonna get painted soon anyway, so you know, the color difference won't really matter. And hopefully they'll buff it out. <laughs> It'll buff out. Yes, sir. So, with that being said, that's the end of my video. If this was helpful, like if you thought I was a freaking stud or something, subscribe to me if you haven't. Um, comment if you got any questions about bondoing my beautiful car or me. But uh, on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video.